Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today's July the 6th, and we're looking together at Psalm chapter 118. Well, sandwiched right between the shortest psalm in the book of Psalms, Psalm 117 that we looked at yesterday, and the longest psalm in the Bible, the longest chapter in the Bible, Psalm 119 that we'll look at tomorrow, we have Psalm 118 that we find ourselves looking at today. And this is an amazing song. It gives us four practical instructions for every believer. It talks about God giving thanks to the Lord for everything. Look at verse one, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let all Israel repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Uh, you know, things and circumstances may change in life, but there's something that never changes, and that's God. And his faithful love that he has toward us will endure forever. There is no ending to it. There's nothing that we could ever do to make God love us less than he does right now. And there's also nothing that we could ever do to make him love us more than he loves us right now. He loves us with a faithful, enduring love. Then the psalmist switches gears and talks about trusting the Lord in crises. He talks about, in my distress, verse 5, I prayed to the Lord and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is with me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? You know, we get so focused in on people when things happen and somebody doesn't like us or somebody says something mean about us or somebody hurt us. And, you know, the kids usually sing the song, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And that's a load of baloney because words do hurt and they can hurt worse than physical wounds. But here we see that if God is for us, who can be against us, as is said in the New Testament? And the Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? What can a person do to me? They can say mean things. They can hurt me physically. But they have no power beyond that over me. They should not have the power to take away my joy. They should not have the power to give me a bad day just because they say or do something to me. People are given way too much power by us today. One unkind word, one snide remark, one smart aleck thing, and our whole day can be thrown off. And we have allowed someone to have power over us that only God should have. Because he's the only one who should be able to affect us that way. He's the only one who can send us to heaven or hell. It's what we do with him. So why should I fear a person? I should have a healthy fear of the Lord. He switches gear and talks about glorifying God after every victory. And this psalm was written right after the time of Nehemiah when they rebuilt the wall. So they had experienced a lot of things. Sam Ballot and Tobiah had attacked Nehemiah and the people. And that's why he's talking about giving God glory in crisis and, and giving thanks even in difficult times. So here he's talking about glorifying God even after the victories. And we got to make sure that we give God the glory after our victories. And then when you come down to the last section, verse 22 down to 29, we see the Lord um, in every experience that we have. So here, verse 24, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Every day that we live is a gift from God. Every breath that we breathe is a gift from Him. This day was made by Him. And we need to rejoice and be glad in it. It's a gift. It's precious. Time is something that they're not making any more of. We have a limited amount of it. And we can't make it any longer. We can't extend it. It's We all have a certain number of days. So why waste a day not rejoicing and being glad? Why allow someone else to have power over us or some circumstance to have power over us when God says, I'm accepted, I'm a beloved, I'm one of his children. I should never give anyone that kind of power. This is the day. Today is the day. God made this day and I'm going to rejoice in it and I'm going to be glad in it. Verse 29, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. His faithful love endures to us. That love that he showed by giving us his only 
begotten his only, his best, his perfect son to pay the penalty for our sins. That's love. That's real love. Giving. And that's what God did for us. His love endures forever. I hope you'll live in that love today and rejoice in it because today is the day God made. Let's rejoice and let's be glad in it. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.